Paul V, do you think aliens really exist or watching History Channel about UFOs? I think it's possible. I mean, I've seen weird stuff in the sky. Probably Most of you have probably seen weird stuff in the, st- in the sky you can't explain. Uh, it's very, very possible that, that there's intelligent out life out there. The likelihood of intelligent life being out there is very small, though. Simply because if we have human beings as the prototypical model of how life comes to be, intelligent life comes to be, then you need a middle-sized star with a rocky planet that is just in the right spot that isn't too large of a planet, isn't too small of a planet, so it can stay kind of warm and have an atmosphere, has enough carbon to make carbon-based life, uh, it's in a stable enough region in the in a galaxy so that it's not bombarded with horrible like supernovas and other plants crashing into them and stars exploding here and there. Um, and it takes, you know, four and a half billion years from when star and planets are created to uh, us being able to broadcast into space and let the let the universe know that we're here, right? It's a long period of time to get some like hairless apes to go right. He's looking at me like that cat. Um, and so, if you do the calculations uh, according to Drake's equation, it comes to an intelligent species appearing in a galaxy about once every ten thousand years. Now, there can be theoretically species that are over 10,000 years old as an advanced society. But looking at humans, we got technology, we turned it into weapons, and we could annihilate our own civilization at any time very easily with nuclear weapons and cease to exist. Right? We just sanitize the surface of the earth, and then a cockroach people will pop up, you know, 60 million years from now. Uh, so, that being said, if it, if an intelligent species lasts for one or 200 years before they blow themselves up. That means they broadcast into space and that broadcast travels at, you know, one light year per year and broadcasts out. And by the time another species appears 10,000 years later, that broadcast could have flowed right by them or they appear and die and then it passes by. Um, so, you know, what it will come down to is the likelihood of more than one intelligent species existing in the galaxy at the same time, which is pretty darn small. Uh, So are there aliens out there? Could be. Odds are, eh, maybe not. Or or maybe we're the outliers. Maybe we're so terrifying. And so we want, like aliens look at us and see, oh my gosh, these guys kill each other all the time. They are brutal. Don't mess with them. Because uh, if they meet us, they're going to want to kill us because that's what they love doing. They like to kill us and put heads on the wall and whatever because we're humans. And we're a bunch of assholes. Uh, so maybe they're like, they're, they're, they're probing and looking and seeing seeing us, but they don't really want to like have a dialogue because they know that we'll just gonna like be like, kill it. That's what we do. I don't know. <laughs>